Damn, I love that stage, uh, stage left band. Just, <laughs> all right. So, like, I travel a lot, and uh, it's hard for me to, like, be prepared for this, but I did my very best this time. I even have it printed out, and then have other things. Like, I am whew, so ready. But it came to me while I was traveling, where they posted the last video, and it's like, caution, use of strong language. And I like that phrase. I really like it. So that's this called use strong language. It's the point of this speech. And it's going to be about self-talk, but I'm just going to get into it. So I've been thinking again. I know. Danger, danger, Matt Robinson. It says, uh, I've been thinking about what's going on right now in the future right now. Someone is watching this video on their computer or on their mobile device or maybe their Apple TV. I want to reach out to that person right now, tell you thanks for watching, and I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> now, I know that's weird and ridiculous, but I'm truly up here to tell you how great you are. But I'm not there, so I'm going to make you tell yourself, because it's true. And that's the point of today's speech. I'll tell you what you want to hear, but you need to tell yourself what you need to hear. You have to tell yourself to get out of bed, tell yourself to get excited, tell yourself to follow your curiosity, and do more. When you do, use strong language. Really ruffle your own feathers. Now, it doesn't have to be profanity. It just has to be immediate and profound. Here's an analogy. I've started keeping fresh squeezed lemon in a chilled bottle next to my bed when I go to sleep, so that when I wake up, I grab it and drink it, and I'm awake. <laughs> so, so there's no chance I'm going back to sleep. And that's, uh, that's part of the tips and tricks part of the show. So if you're having trouble getting out of bed, there's like a little just a fresh squeeze of lemon. I'll do it. All right. So, yeah, here's the core of the, the speech here. I've just got it all printed out. So what I've noticed, it's very common that people have difficulties with self-esteem, and it seems to have a really negative impact on our overall functioning. You know, how we think about ourselves and how we talk to ourselves can have enormous impact on our performance and our sense of well-being. For example, people who have been in abusive relationships and people who have had difficulties with critical bosses or difficulties as a child with critical parents often are kind of socialized, if you like, to really feel that they're not worthy of being. So essentially what you think about yourself and about your environment, how you take those thoughts and convert them into actions, and how you evaluate those actions as they play out. And it doesn't matter your walk of life, because here's a great example using strong language by Iggy Pop. So here it comes. I'll tell you about punk rock. Punk rock is a word by, used by dilettantes and heartless manipulators, about music that takes up the energies and the bodies and the hearts and the souls and the time and the minds of young men who give what they have to it and give everything they have to it. It's a term that's based on contempt. It's a term that's based on fashion, style, elitism, Satanism, and everything that's rotten about rock and roll. I don't know Johnny Rotten, but I'm sure. I'm sure he puts as much blood and sweat into what he does as Sigmund Freud did. You see, what sounds to you like a big load of trashy old noise is in fact the brilliant music of a genius, myself. And that music is so powerful that it's quite beyond my control, and when I'm in the grips of it, I don't feel pleasure and I don't feel pain, either physically or emotionally. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Have you ever felt like that? When you couldn't feel anything and you didn't want to? Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's, you know, Iggy Pop. <laughs> Everyone has their own relationship with, with music, and, you know, I'm like, Radiohead's my favorite band, but uh, Iggy Pop, come on, <laughs> right? <laughs> Awesome stuff. So um, thanks to everyone. And you know, I reached out to the people at home later in the future right now, because for them it's now, and for us that's the future. I'm going to reach out to all of y'all, because I also brought these little quotes here. That's what these things were earlier. I just displayed them. And these are random quotes I found online. And <laughs> of course, this one's first. It's our choices that show us what we truly are, for, far more than our abilities. J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Nobody can bring you peace but yourself. Rolf Waldo Emerson. Rolf? Rolf. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Rolf. And I can't pronounce this guy, but it's all right. When I let go of what I am, I become what I might be. Lao Tzu? Sue? Sue. See, you guys, 
the educated in the group. They're like, it's all right. I have 18 credit hours. I'm doing okay. <laughs> you have enemies? Good. That means you stood up for something sometime in your life. Winston Churchill. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Oh, this is this cheeky. Use strong language. <laughs> I know that guy. I know that guy. He's all right. This above all, to thine own self be true. Shakespeare? Oh, yeah. I like that gasp. That was, like, dramatic. It was good. If I try to be like him, who will be like me? It's a Yiddish proverb. And there's only a couple more of these. This is actually kind of, I should have done this earlier or something. But what we are, <laughs> what we pretend to be, so we must be careful. Oh, sorry. Here we go. One more time. We are what we pretend to be, so we must be careful what we pretend to be. That's Kurt Vonnegut. And there's two more. We're almost there, guys. I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> it was planned, and it just... <sighs> you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them. Michael Jordan. And so these are, like, all over the board, right? Like, these are just, just people out there. And here's one. I'm sure I'll get half the audience or so um, demographically is going to know this probably right, right away. We can do it. <laughs> well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> <There>. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you very much.